All right, to start this out, I'm going to go back to point three of my, the pistol permit process here in New York from my vlog number eight on this. Point, uh, if you don't remember, point one was they're going to try to take as much money out of you as possible to get in as much money for this state. Point two was to trying to keep hand, uh, pistols out of the hands of law-abiding citizens as long as possible. And point three, which is where we're getting to again today, it's getting... Point three is they're trying to discourage people from the process. Now, let me tell you what happened today with this other special update. As you can tell, I'm not very happy right now. How many excuses can this state... It's really like a game. How many excuses can this state come up with to making my pistol permit not be mine. What have we had so far? Well, first of all, we've had the class that takes six months to get in. Okay? That's already on top of you already got to be 21. There's no, there's nothing for 18-year-olds where in other states you can be 18 and buy a pistol. You just can't buy it from a dealer. But got to be 21, so you got to wait for that. Got to wait the six months for the class. Okay? Then you finally take this class... And and then what was the next thing that was pulled on me after that? Uh, I have to fill out the applications, and the next thing that was pulled on me after that was... Uh, oh, making appointments for fingerprints. Then you, then you gotta wait, you know, get appointments for fingerprints. Just wait and wait and wait. And then they pulled... What did they pull after that? Uh, oh, lost your survey. We lost your survey. That was, that was another good one. We lost your survey, so we'll have to get it sent back out. Lost your survey. And, uh, you know... That that's I think that was the last one, you know, just more and more and more BS going along lines. Hold off, you're not getting your permit, you're not getting your permit, you're not getting your permit. So what can they possibly come up with now? A nuclear disaster or something happened and, and you know, at the judge's chambers and now he's dead so you can't get your permit? Not quite, but listen to this. If this is true, it's really hilarious because it is. It's how many different BS things can we make up to prevent people from getting these permits? How many BS things can we come up with? It's a joke. It's like we're being in second grade. Oh, speaking of second grade, I'll tell you something about that in a second. But it's like being in second grade all over again with how cheesy they are about um, not letting people get their permits. Speaking of second grade, there's a law on the books that says you can no lo you can take no longer than six months to give somebody a pistol permit in New York State from the time that the application hits the judge's desk. And I'm not joking about this. You want to talk about second grade antics, nanner nanner, boo boo stuff? This actually happens. The law is you have six months from the time the application hits the judge's desk till the time that you have to get your permit back to the person. Otherwise, you're in contempt of court or some other bullshit. It doesn't matter anyway. There's a judge who's going to, you know, it's like arresting a cop for talking to his cell phone. Who the hell is going to say anything? But six months from the time it hit the judge's desk, you have to make a decision. So what they'll do, again, this is probably going to be mind-boggling for people in the free states because this is second-grade antics here when we're talking about a pretty serious thing, my rights, and, you know, like a concealed carry license for a, a pistol... We're talking about a serious thing, and this is the second grade shit they pull. You got six months from the time it hits the judge's desk, so here's the judge's desk. Here's an end table sitting next to the judge's desk. We're going to go ahead and put it over here. See, it's not on the judge's desk. Judge's desk over here. This is an end table. We're not putting it on the judge's desk. Two separate entities. Yeah? All right, you know, we got the judge's desk right here. Okay? Here's the application. I'm going to set it over here. See, it's not touching the desk. Not touching it. Look, I'm not I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching the desk. Therefore, I don't have to. I don't have six months. La, 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 la. <laughs> are we talking about a are we talking about a serious thing like a concealed weapons license, or are we talking about where the you know who stole the fucking cookies from the cookie jar? <sighs> so the six months thing. So what happened this time? Let's get into the root of the issue here. What happened this time? Why do we have another special update here? Well, let me tell you. I'm a member of NewYorkFirearms.com, which is a, a very, very smart people that go, into, go to that site. I learned a lot of stuff about this ridiculous New York process. I learned a lot about the, the assault weapons ban. When I was getting my AR, I learned a lot about the pistol permit process. Uh, just, just really good people there, and they know, they know a lot of stuff. There's people there who you know are from the NRA, run NRA classes. Um, Various people who offer personal defense classes, and just a lot of great, great site, NewYorkFirearms.com, for anybody uh, 
in New York that wants some information. But I saw I have a, a, a thread, a uh, form, I have a thread going uh, about the process, basically the text version of what I'm telling you here. And uh, I got a response today that another guy from the town of uh, Amsterdam, which is where I live, I live in Amsterdam, not the Netherlands, because otherwise I'd be... <clears throat> smoking the reefer right now with my friend Snoop Double D Dog G Dog. Oh my god, we both have two G's in our name. Me and Snoop Dog. Smoking Reefer. Anyway, uh, I got a response on that thread from somebody in Amsterdam saying, I tried to add a pistol to my permit today, which you have to add every fucking pistol. The judge has to sign off on every fucking pistol, which makes no sense whatsoever. They finally, finally entrusted you with uh, with getting a fucking pistol, and then they have to sign off on each one, because, you know, you might be okay for pistols, you're just not okay for these pistols. But anyway, he tried to add his pistol today from Amsterdam, and the clerk told him... Oh, God. The clerk told him, the judge is on loan to another county right now, and he won't be back until... March 26th. Now, that violates the Constitution in two aspects. We've we've gone from one, the uh, not letting me, and you're severely infringing my right to bear arms, but now we're doing it in two, if that is true, because um, if the judge for this county is in fact on loan to another county and he's not here for over a month now, a month and five days, you know what that means? What about the actual crimes going on in this area? Has anybody, maybe I'm crazy here, but I, I seem to remember something called like, what is it called? Like um, due process or something like that? I don't know, do like the thing that's on the grass in the morning and the, the moisture, is that, is that that kind of do, due process? What is this? Never heard of it before. Yeah, so apparently the judge who also, by the way, not every county has the judge as the licensing officer. Some counties smartened up and realized if the judge is doing judge things like slamming a gavel against the desk and saying objection or objection overruled and all that stuff, if he's doing that stuff, how can he do pistol permit stuff? It's not possible. So they have a separate licensing officer and the judge does his own thing. But here, when you have them together, how can he be on loan for over a month it just doesn't make any sense. How can how can he... Uh, they take it so lightly. I think that's what pisses me off so much. They take it so lightly like, yeah, you know, your judge is going to be out for over a month and you're not going to be able to exercise your rights and get very important pieces of paper signed off because, you know, he's just going to be gone for a month. That's like going to a toll booth and you have to go through the toll booth and the toll collector, yeah, the toll collector, in order for you to raise the gate, uh, he'll be back in a month. You can just sit right there. No, no, it's fine. No, he'll be back in a month. One month. Are you serious? <laughs> um, the 26th of March is when he's supposed to be coming back? And, and also in this post, he posted that, um, oh, but his secretary is trying to take him a few sheets of paper so she can get him uh, signed off on. But apparently, that'd be great if he d would just sign off on the thing and get it back to me. But uh, like, like, like I said, apparently I'm going to have to meet this guy. So, if this is true, I, I, like I said, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time piecing together my thoughts, what I want to get out, because this is, this really is unbelievable. How much stuff can you come up with as to not giving me my pistol permit? It's a joke! But, like I said, I can't even get coherent thoughts out. So, if it is true, then the 26th of March, which is over a month from now, because today is the 21st of February... Over a month from now, he'll be back, and then what? He just has this massive backlog of things that's been going on in the whole county when he's been gone for over a month. It's like, oh, back at my desk. Now I've got a paper this long, or a stack of papers this long, and I'm here at the bottom. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> this is unreal. If that is in fact true. That he's gone for over a month. And, you know, you forget about the due process and the the second, uh, the second amendment being violated. If he's gone for a month, what happens during that time? It's just, I can't, what? Oh, my God. It's, this, is, this is a crappy video. I'm not even happy with this recorder, but I'm going to put it on because I'm real here on this channel. Because I can't even, I'm starting to babble. It's, it's so unbelievable. <laughs> nanner, nanner, boo-boo.
How many different things can you come up with? What's going to come up? What, what, after he gets back, what is it going to be? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's back. Whew, got good news for you, Mr. Young Love. He's back. He's back. Okay, he's got your application. It's not quite on his desk. It's on the end table next to his desk. Okay? But he's on vacation now. He decided to take a vacation. He'll be back in six months. No, no big deal. He'll be back in six months. No, no big deal. Easy come, easy go. He's gone for over a month. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. All right, well, that's special update three. Like I said, you want to talk about uh, people getting discouraged with these processes? That uh, this pretty much describes, oh, yeah, we, we've loaned out our judge who's supposed to be doing things for this county to another county. And eh, no big deal, right? You know, easy come, easy go. All right, whatever. I'm done with this video. I can't take it anymore. All right, I'm out.